So today I'm going to show you a project um, that I've worked on for many years actually and it's one of my very favorite projects um, and it's actually, I show this cushion in the um, beginning of my Joyful Lifestyle, uh, the cover for it and the long cover for it. I don't show it in all the episodes. And I'm sitting, I'm about to sit on a swing in the balcony and I have this uh, cushion with me that I'm carrying. And it's something I've sold and I just love making it. It's, I think it's, um, you know, quite attractive. And the original pattern I've unfortunately lost, but uh, you can see that it's very delicate cross stitch and it's a pattern of um, a rose, a wreath made of roses and some roses um, in, a, in a vase. And there's a lot of work to it, but it's so much fun. So this is the, the one that's uh, white. And this is the one that I did in uh, on a blue lace um, background. I love both of them equally, I think. And I'm just going to show you... Um, guys basically how I do this it's a lot of work as I said but I find it fun and especially in the summer first for whatever reason uh, I really enjoy doing it in the summer so what I have is I have 14 count Ida cloth and by that I mean it refers to how many um, it's hard to explain how many the, the basically the fineness of the cloth so you have you can see you have holes in the cloth and you basically do your cross stitches through the holes and say 28 would be a finer cloth this is 14 and um, basically the first thing you do is nobody taught me how to do this it was sort of I had a pattern and I sort of made it work with um, the basic procedure and that's what I'm going to be talking about so basically I got myself an Ida cloth and I cut it roughly to um, the um, size that I will need and all I'm doing is I'm basically going by eye so I have first of all I have this and this is sort of like the borders and I always start with the borders because I find that it's much easier once you have the borders to do the rest of it and um, after doing the borders, then I get into um, the roses, the wreaths, and you know whichever pattern I'm doing. So the first step is, it's a little messy, but the first step is basically getting the idle cloth, cutting it, and doing the um, borders. So that's what I'm doing right now. And once I get a bit more of the borders done, I will start off with the more fun part, The I think, which is, um, doing the flowers so I will you can see that I've got uh, I don't know maybe about 50% of it done so I'm just going to continue and uh, I will be back once the borders are pretty much done hi everyone so I'm going to show you the fun part now I do have the borders all done for this cushion and for me that is not the fun part the fun part is doing the inside of it so I'm um, what I did was I grabbed a bunch of threads. So I'm going to ask you to come here to do more of a close up. So I have, this is my design. And as you can see, there are some pinks. There's two colors of shades of pink, a dark one and a light one. There's some blues, purples, greens, and different shades. There's also a yellow. It's hard to see within the blue flower, the middle of the blue flower. So I have some beautiful, different colored embroidery floss as you can see and what I thought I would do today at least to start off with is I'm going to pick this purple here I'm just gonna cut a bit and what I need to do which I forgot to mention before these are all six plies so there's six threads in each of these I need only two so I have my needle which is a very thin one because this is if it's too thick it's gonna you're gonna have holes and they're gonna be very ugly so what I'm doing is basically I have no pattern so I'm going to be counting 
and I'm going to be doing the cross stitch that way. So what I'm going to do here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it's one, two, three, down. So that is this one here, the center. So one, two, three, four. So if you can do a close up again, I have the four stitches, sorry, the eight stitches down and the third stitch up. And a cross stitch is simply one like that and then the other. And that is your cross stitch. It's the two different colors, actually three different colors. So I pretty much started the medium pink as you can see I have a bit more to go but I started putting in all the places that the pink needs to go the medium pink so here I have the dark pink and I'm starting to put that in here and once I do it's it's really gonna start popping out the light and the dark and just with these three I think even actually I'll just do a fourth one here you can see how this already if you look at this one and you look at this one how it's already starting to become a rose and I think that's the magical part of cross stitching because all it really is is painting with colored thread. Which okay, it's hard to know if you can see this, but this is the original um, cushion that's already done, and you can see the dark pink and the medium pink and the very light pink. And I only have the medium pink and the dark pink here, but I think you can see it, the contrast already. And you can also see that the rose is starting to take shape which is really for me the fun part when this all starts to take shape and you can see the beautiful pattern emerging. Proceed and I will be back. I'm going to do this into a part one, part two and in the next part I am going to be um, showing you how to cut the lace for this and make it into a cushion and the project will be finished. So stay tuned for part two. This is the end of part one and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And Thank you for watching.